So, Catherine, you, you talk about in your book an experience you personally had called the baptism of fire. Now, what is that? Well, you know, I used to read about Smith Wigglesworth and John G. Lake and Catherine Coleman and Maria Woodworth Edda and all these people seeing amazing miracles. And I, as a young woman, I just got really desperate saying, Lord, they're doing things that I'm not doing. So what is it? And it seemed to me they had all had a, a divine encounter with the Holy Spirit. Yes. And so I just got really hungry. I said, Lord, I need that. I can't just keep reading the Bible and seeing you say that the same works you do and greater works what we do and not actually see it practically come to pass. So Lord, I want a baptism of fire. And you know, he did. <laughs> Hallelujah. And it's not a one-off thing in that he continues to fill us as we continue to open our hearts. He comes and he brings his presence. He brings his love. He brings his conviction and his power uh, wants to be the glory and the lifter of our head. That's amazing. Did God answer that prayer right away? Or was it kind of like after a semblance of time that you saw it? That it took to about six months, yeah. actually. I, I went to every meeting that had the smell of smoke. You know, oh God. just like it's God moving, and um, and I, I would have encounters on the floor where the Holy Spirit would just show me visions of fireballs going out over crowds and people getting saved. And wow. yeah, I'm I'm thankful. I'm so thankful. But you know, if you seek, you will find. Yes. Yes. And that's the good news. If you ask Him for something good, the Father's not going to give you something bad. So How much more will He give the Holy Spirit to those who love Him and ask for it?